So in this week's video, I was just gonna go over some pre-winter checks, have a bit of a wander around the outside and just go over some key things that you should consider before getting it uh, put away for the winter. And yes, I appreciate it's, it's not, we're not quite there yet, but the nights are getting darker, it is getting colder. And obviously what comes with that is a bit more rain as well. So these are all the checks that you should be doing, any sort of minor repairs carried out whilst you've still got some of this warmer weather just so again you're, you're not faffing around when it's peeing down with rain or it's freezing cold and again if you need to do some silicon work obviously it's going to take longer to go off so it's, it's this is sort of the key time just to make sure that you're you're getting all these little checks and uh, items covered off um, ready for that winter period so what we'll do is we'll head on out and i'll have a wander around our caravan and i'll point out some key things you should be checking at each stage and obviously we start at the front go around the sides rear and finish up on top just so again you've got some items almost sort of a, a mini checklist to go through and like i say i'll put all these items in below uh, in the description below just so again you can sort of tick these off so you don't have to keep watching this video back but um, yeah some crucial things that you should be looking for so again when you start the season next year Again, you're not going to have any hidden surprises. Well, hopefully not anyway. Right here, yeah. so in terms of the front of the van, things to be mindful of is obviously your jockey wheel. Make sure that this is oiled up. And if you've got your steadies down, again, that's an option there to actually split that apart and oil the inside of that. So again, it depends on what the condition of yours is. Um, Obviously the same with your security locks, make sure that they're oiled up and in good working order for the colder weather. And, in, and then once you've done all that, again, a cover over the whole thing. And then moving on would be onto your locker section, checking the rubber and the seals. Same for your window. Um, and obviously the sunroof if you've got one. Um, but again, it's just making sure that that's all intact. Uh, make sure there's no cracking um, on the windows just so again it's going to hold up once it starts getting a lot colder um, and we see a bit more of a frost on there. Um, the other area is just checking on your lights making sure that they're tightened up again there's no water getting into those because you don't want that to sort of freeze up and then crack so it's just checking on some of this stuff and then the corner steadies themselves just apply a bit of uh, oil to those just to make sure that they're in good working order but um, yeah just needs to make sure that as in one of the other checks is just putting the silicon spray on the rubbers and that's actually on the window itself again pull them up whether you've got one or three just make sure that yeah you're, you're paying attention to those rubber seals well, yeah. So when it comes to the side, again, you, you'll be needing to check the seals around the windows. Again, check for cracking at the top. Um, again, you're not going to want to be messing about with these kind of things in the winter months. So again, just make sure that they are fully intact with your aerial. Get on and give that some lubrication. Oil it up because I can assure you that if you don't, that will be jammed up next year and need replacing or eventually trying to get it to work no different than your side cupboards lockers again checking the the seals around that making sure that that's all functioning as needed and again check here for your seals actually in so again there's no water going down there that could freeze and actually then expand and split so again, some key bits to be looking at. So the same with your security devices. Make sure that these are all oiled up. Because again, they're things that you'll have problems with over the winter periods. Certainly water going in and freezing up. So again, just make sure that they're all lubricated. So when it comes to the back of the van, same checks. Look for the seals around your lights, make sure that they're done up around your window. Also, check these as well. There's a good indication you'll have condensation in these to sort of say that the seals aren't 
quite there or these ain't pinched up enough but yeah go easy they are plastic so again you don't want to break these but you want to make sure that there is they are sealed and not let any water and again for your steadies give the oil them up the only difference on this side is obviously your door seal um, and then your, your vents and again you might just want to think about what you want to do there again you can get covers for these that you can put on over the winter months just to try and give that some extra protection um, but I'll drop all this in the link below so when it comes to the top of the van this is a, 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 another area that you need to be paying attention to you want to be making sure the seals as always around the windows around your antenna and also the seals going along the sides you want to be checking for and at the rear because they're prime areas where they'll let in water so again take the time to actually examine the top whether you get your head out this window and look back or you get a step ladder which would be the recommendation I would give to actually inspect these correctly so hopefully this week's video has been helpful for you like I say it's giving you that sort of mini sort of checklist um, going into the winter season um, and like I say whether that's because you're putting it into storage or you're going to continue to use it these checks are still worth doing and sort of protect the caravan and, and like I say that's the key thing here is making sure you keep all the, the parts functioning as for as long as possible before they need replacing naturally just because the age of the van um, but uh, as always yeah if you're, if you're liking the content if you can consider subscribing that'll be great and I will see you all on the next one. Chisel.